These guys came all the way from Denmark for something really cool. But first, since they have the Mavic, we're gonna do a little video of the place. It's pretty exciting. Are we gonna lose the drone? Oh, yeah, oh. we are. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I could oh. <laughs> I'm glad you're laughing, because <laughs> we don't know how it's gonna be. Lost connection. <laughs> Let's go check on the drone. Oh, God. Oh, that was hot. Well, we knew it was gonna happen at yeah, some point. I knew it was gonna happen because it started drifting us. Yeah? So was it the pillar or? Yeah, the pillar. I think it was the Actually, I hit it once and I was like, okay, I can save this, I can save this, then hit it twice and then it was gone. Drones are dangerous and expensive. <laughs> and every time you break them, you need to cry. But now we are on camera, so we pretend we're happy about it. Because <laughs> it, it looks cool. No, <laughs> you no. wanna die? Are you dying inside? No, not really. <laughs> but there's already a rescue squad there. Is it in one place? That's pretty cool. So it's the battery that... Yeah, battery, can... battery popped off. So it doesn't work without the battery. That's crazy. The only thing that happened the last time was this little, this little thing. Yeah, uh -huh. this, this happened now as well. That's the only thing like that happened. Like the ribbon cable okay. thing? No, it's just, it just pops up here. Oh yeah, let me and see. And then Wait. the gimbal, like this. Oh, yeah. Oops, sorry. <laughs> It was all good here. I even think you can hear me saying landed <laughs> <laughs> right before you crash. Uh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Take it, boom. <laughs> Whoa, so it was super close to here. So it could have gone like all the way down the hole. <laughs> that could have been a bad drop. Hey, it's Daniel, jump ever. back. Jump that back? <laughs> Don't do it. Oh, my ass it's is so tight right now. Stop it. We were sitting over there here like. <laughs> 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 Can you do again the drone? No. Then please. <laughs> Stop it! No. <laughs> what happened to the drone exactly? I'm not a monkey <laughs> for your entertainment. <laughs> I thought we had a deal. So you're gonna try again? I mean, I'm guessing that you can go kind of slower if you want. Okay, Mario, let's cut to a nice sequence of the drone and the place. The real reason why they came was not to crash their Mavic in my shop, but it's because they have the knowledge and the hardware to make those really old machines communicate with newer computers. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Those machines were actually working with like tape. So you would send the G code with like an actual magnetic tape, which is pretty awesome. Now it's gonna be a PC, so. Hopefully it's gonna work and uh, it's gonna make our life easier. Also, because those machines have, do you know what's the memory in those? Like 32 kilobyte? I don't know. Yeah, like you can't really send nice G code like with Fusion 360, like they're super yeah, heavy the, and stuff. Yeah, not the 3D. Yeah, the what crazy. is it called? Uh, you know, instead of going straight, you go like nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. adaptive, you yes. know, those adaptive uh, G code oh, stuff. Yeah. Cause you always wanna have the same tool pressure. Yeah, exactly. So you can't really make one of those super large files fitting in those machines. So what they are going to do is called drip uh, code. Drip feeding. Drip feeding. So you basically stream the code to the machine and you don't have to use the uh, memory, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty darn neat. What's the percentage of success, do you think? <laughs> is there a percentage? <laughs> no, we'll see. They, yeah, we'll they see. know what they're doing, right? What is it that you're doing now? 
Just configuring the IP address to the Moxa unit. Okay. So this is what's going to change everything? Hopefully. Please behave. So now the first step is to see if your hardware sees that machine. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so sure. let's see. Poor star successfully. Okay. That's promising, right? Like, that's what we were waiting for, right? Yeah, exactly. So now we can turn on the machine and see if the communication would actually work. Okay. David, I think you kind of have to... Uh... Okay, good. Hello, CNC machines you can walk into. <laughs> We need to switch on the uh, machine. Well, let's do it. I'm always kind of anxious. Okay, first one. Yeah. Didn't explode. There's like uh, something here. Uh, the first time we turned this on. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's going down. Yeah, but yeah. But it, uh, that's just for cooling. Okay, turning on from here. This is your machine starting up. No way. So it already sees the thing. What? That's super cool. No way. It sends sound as just like, just the zero, just like, hey, I'm on. And that's it. Oh. But this is the communication start, then what we get, and then communication ending. So it's a two-way communication. Yeah, you can send and receive. Like, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Like, this machine is old. <laughs> OK, what is saying here? Low air pressure, of course, because we don't have the. Uh, <laughs> So we're missing that, we find your problem. Oh, it's always nice when you move this thing and it's actually moving. Ah, so satisfying. And everything in there works. So can we, can we try to put like a little simple uh, program in that thing and see if it works? Yeah. That's what one of you said earlier at least, like you wanted to. Oh yeah, yeah, millimeter, yeah. yeah. And then we have the input device and output device is both set to two, which is the RS-232, which is the communication port we're using right here. Yeah. yeah. So that's good. Okay. So it's basically uh, kind of ready to go? Hopefully. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what happens now? Do we have to put the machine like in a mode that it accepts code or...? Uh, yeah, but that's the thing we need to find now. Okay. <laughs> Let's find it. There was something wrong with the cable, so you're uh, fixing it? Yeah, the connection was to the wrong pins. Oh, okay. And uh, I must say, I really like your knife there. Oh, thank you. Wish it was mine, though. <laughs> you know, makerknife.com, you can buy it. Ooh! Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> How about shipment? How fast is that? It's very fast now, you know? Okay, now we replace, I mean, he replaced the pins. Do you want to check if it works? Yup. Go for it. I say something. Should be a program called 1607. 1607? I mean, I say something, yeah, I don't know what, okay, cool. So that means that now that is sending code to the computer, we want the other way around. Also oh, just renaming this and then sending it back. Yeah, so. I'll rename it uh, to 0001, because that's not in the control right now. Okay. So if we see this program in there, it means that it works, basically. Yeah. That's cool. Okay, so let's test it off camera first. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do it live. So now we set the machine ready to receive a program. Yeah. And if we do it, it's going to press enter and it's going to work. Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Just go. Why it doesn't work? Look at that sh stuff. one. <laughs> <laughs> so zero zero one wasn't there. So this can only be that, yeah. right? Yes. How nice is that? I know, right? So you can see zero 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 one is in the database. Oh, cool. oh, so this is the database. This okay. is the programs are in your control right now. Okay. And this one wasn't there. Zero zero one. Okay. That's nice. So now it works both ways. We picked this like up with the crane. Mm -hmm. And uh, now it's working with the Ethernet cable. Yeah. It's not like I want to kiss you, but uh, the microphone is here. So. <laughs> <laughs> I really like your microphone. <laughs>
Well, thank you very much. I'm here <laughs> on location with uh, Kitamura. <laughs> Uh, so this is actually two days after? Yeah. Yes. It's two days after uh, the guys went. Thank you very much again. Now we're going to try to put the thing in, which is not a microphone, but it is a mill. It's a tool holder it's with a, a mill. Yeah, a tool holder with a mill. And I think we figured out how to do it. The thing is, we don't have compressed air now, but it should work anyway. Okay, you ready to try? All right, push it. We got it. Oh, and what's the compressed air for? For the tool changer, this thing. No, no, that that's works hydraulic. Uh, I think the air is to push it out, like a sh to help shoot it out, but then just in it's, case. It's literally like six pieces of a collet that just uh, separates. So what if it's a little bit stuck? So I think the air just like... Because it, it registers goes right. here. I'm thinking if there's something like here, like so it makes it a little bit stuck. Because it has, yeah. the valve was like up there, so it's like in line with, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, the air goes into the spindle. But anyway, it kind of works, so I'm fine with that. Yes, okay. Let's Not that we need it. Let's run some code. Okay. So now we put the uh, test file, which is just a cylinder 2D contour. Oh, so Kiramura, it, it, does that mean that it's, uh, okay, like that it, we, we are, yeah. It. So I go in read mode in the Kitamura. Yes. Two, three. All. Yes. Do it. Okay, here if you want to film there, if it goes. Okay, go. Should I be in one here? No. Is it still going? Wait. Serial port offline. Uh, let me try to put it in one. Okay, try again. It is reading mm -hmm. here, but. Reception contain no program name. I think we have a little error. Let's see. So we need to uh, have a name for the file that we're storing. We do believe that is the problem. We're not using the right post processor, but we're hoping that just a generic one would work. Yeah, yeah we're pretty close. And doing a little bit of manual uh, hacking. Mm -hmm. All right, is it in read mode? It is. Okay, trying to send. It should go pretty fast, right? I have a 1001 there. Okay, that's cool but I don't see any program. Hey, wait, 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 still sending. Serial port offline. Okay, we just tried to uh, restart the little hardware there. Let's see if it uh, makes any difference. Wait, it's not here. Read. Okay, I'm in read mode. Try again. Two, one. Ooh, Woo! we have it. I mean, it uh, was. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, it's there again, okay. Right, right on. Well, that's nice. Then, as usual, the restarting stuff works. Yeah, that was uh, wasted minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we should see if the machine likes it. Yeah, oh, yeah. do you want to push go? Mm. What, what's should the we zero? Like... Where, where are we zeroed? Yeah, exactly. Let's First. go to jogging. Position. We're at zero, zero jogging. now. Oh wait, X. I want to do a Y. There. Let's put it kind of in the center. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to say this is zero. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Origin. All access. Yeah, there we go. Zero. Long noise, long noise. Now, we put it in memory. Yes. We go to the program, program. and we hit start. This thing, though, is... Uh, I know, it's stupid. Um, so something might be wrong with this. The key as well needs to be... Okay. One on the emergency and one on the stop. Improper G-code. Okay, that's exactly what we don't want. Should we try the final one? Because it had end stuff, but also that one had end stuff. Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, let's try, try whatever you want. I'll delete this one. It's not supposed okay. to be on, and it, it's the incremental. Um, Are you ready? Yeah, oh. one hand over the emergency, and let's go. Yeah, yeah this is the good one. Jesus. Ready? Yep. Holy sh**. That's fast. Wow, that one's faster, All right? Yeah, should I try to put like 50%? A uh, much re more reasonable speed. <laughs> All right, hi. I gotta put on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think we didn't set the. The right zero. Yeah. yeah. Just like it. Go cool. cry, cry. Okay, I'm gonna go back to 100. Well, it is moving. We just need to figure out well how to zero it and also the right uh, post processor. This is really making me nervous. Okay. okay. It's doing exactly the same position as before. Yeah. Okay. okay, minus one. And I didn't remove the end of the code, so... Yeah, yeah. Let's not run into the very end. Okay, okay. and now it should start cutting the circle. Look at oh, that. Look at that speed. <laughs> 150%. Like, this is actually doing stuff. Yeah. 
And it's so quiet. It's so, yeah. And I think we're gonna be happy with this because I'm not gonna go over the other one. It's not for sure luck. Look at that. That's a nice circle. That's a really nice <laughs> circle. <laughs> Good, Good boy. Good boy. Okay. I'm not gonna move anything anymore. I'm just gonna uh, stop it. It's know. fine. Thank <laughs> you for watching. <laughs> for now, this is like an achievement, right? Yeah. We made a circle. Yes. Big boy is working. We need to figure out the post processor. I'm excited. See you tomorrow or another day. Ciao. <clears throat> In the hand of a maker. This is a knife, a screwdriver, sandpaper, a chisel, a marker, anything you want. There's no project that doesn't need it. We just created the best way to carry it every day, everywhere. But it doesn't open bottles. If your finger is in the ring, it's like there's no locking mechanism at all. But there is. Yeah, it doesn't open bottles though. It's 100% waterproof. You can use it with any hand, in any condition. No limits, even in case of an emergency. Nope, it doesn't open bottles. It has perpendicular flat faces. A maker knows what that means. It can mark, cut, sand, shape, carve, almost anything. But it can't open a bottle. Not that you need it to.